Hey guys, how are you today? So I am bringing you this short little video really quick that I'm trying to put together and get up onto YouTube and Facebook tonight because it is in preparation for tomorrow's Watercolor Wednesday Live, which will be broadcast, simulcast, um, pretty much from now on, I think, as long as all my equipment cooperates on both Periscope and um, Ustream at the same time. Like I said, equip equipment, as long as the equipment cooperates, we will be doing that. Um, whether or not it cooperates, you know, I don't know, we'll have to see. Let me just punch these holes before I get too distracted. So, um, from now on, we are going to be doing some, at least every other week, there we go, that's going to be close enough. We're going to be doing some comparisons, and we are going to be comparing um, different brands of paint to each other and making swatches and then doing um, some little sample paintings. So I'm going to show you the little journal that I've put together for this project. This is a Heidi Swap binder that I picked up on clearance on Tuesday morning. Now, it was like three bucks or something. I did notice when I got it, the tabs like hung out the end. You just saw me cut them off and shorten them and repunch the holes in them. They're like, they're too long. And when you closed it like this, the tabs stuck out past the binder cover. I didn't like that. Um, you can use anything, something inexpensive. I like the idea of a binder because we can add pages as needed, change them around as needed. You can add tabs, you could make notes. If you get flyers from the manufacturer, um, or printouts from the manufacturer. Here's one from Daniel Smith. You could actually, you know, cut it down to size, reformat it. This is a really big one. And you could punch holes in it and you could get, actually get it in here um, if you have a binder, which, so I really like the idea of having a binder. Um, if you had a binder that had a pocket in the cover, you could stick some of these things in the cover. So I do recommend a binder. You only need a couple of sections. So I do have comparisons and samples. Um, these are the tab dividers that came with the binder. I just cut them down and punched holes in them and put a label on it. Um, you can use anything. Use what you have on hand. The pages that you actually do the work on though should be watercolor paper. This is 140 pounds Strathmore watercolor paper. And on the comparisons one, I created a chart and we'll have the brands here, colors across here, and we'll have six basic colors like yellow, orange, red, green, blue, purple. I think that's what we're gonna do. So I'll write the basic colors in here, the brand here. As we do each brand, say Daniel Smith, I want a yellow, but maybe I don't have the exact same color yellow as I have in the brand I'm gonna compare it to. I'm gonna make sure I write the particular co yellow color name in the Daniel Smith case, it's going to be Hansa Yellow Medium. Um, that name inside the square with the paint swatch. So you want your square, because you're going to be painting and writing in the square, you probably want it to be, these are an inch square, so you want it to be at least an inch. Um, and I used the Sharpie marker pen, which is waterproof, to make the chart. And then in the sample section, each one of these sections is going to have four brands to compare to each other. In the samples section, you want to create four squares to do four paintings with those same sample uh, brands that you did on the sample chart um, here. So here we're going to just swatch the paint colors and compare them to each other in the different brands, all the different yellows, all the different oranges. And here we're going to create little sample paintings with those same brands of paint. We're going to do this every other week, comparing different brands to each other. Uh, there's lots of really great brands of paint out there. Lots of them are really greatly pigmented. Almost all of them have colors that are extremely light fast and some that aren't even rated. Um, even the super fine brands like Daniel Smith and Schmink, they have brands, if you look at their chart, that are light fast, um, colors that are light fast, some that are uh, so-so, and some that aren't even rated. So, and that's across the board. So you do want to be aware of that if you're thinking of doing your artwork and archiving it, but we'll go over that in the lessons. I wanted to bring you this quick video. You're going to need some kind of little book 
I'd recommend a binder, but if you have a spiral bound book, you can use that. This is nice because you can change the pages around. So get something together, get some paints together and a paintbrush and let's do have some fun and we are going to compare paint brands. Um, if you don't have lots of paint brands, that's fine. You can just watch the video and you can decide by what I do what's going to fit in your budget and what brand of paint's going to work for you. If you have a few brands of watercolor paint, then of course you can try them in here and this is a good way to compare them to each other. All right, that's it for right now, everybody. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye.